In this video, I'm going to show you everything there is to know about polling in Cisco WebEx meetings. All right, let's jump right into this. Now, first things first, is anytime you're doing any setup or configuration of a poll in WebEx meetings, you're going to want to do it in a meeting by yourself first. Get everything set up, ready to go, so when you're in a live meeting with others, it's much smoother, a lot easier on yourself. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's start a meeting. Once we're in the meeting, we're going to want to move our mouse to bring up the meeting control dock. We want to go to more options, and we want to see if we have the polling panel enabled. In this case, we don't. If you don't, we're simply going to go up to the menu bar, click on view, scroll down to panels, and then head over to manage panels. Click on that. It will bring up the manage panels window. It will show all available panels and then your current panels. So we're just going to click on polling and we're going to add it to our current panels. Then we're going to press OK. And it will open or populate your polling panel. If it does not, you can just go back down to your meeting control dock, click on more options, and it should be at the top now. So we'll go ahead and click that. All right, so net new polling. If you already have polls and you just want to edit them, um, you can click on the open button at the top and that will open any existing ones you have and then you can edit adjust as you see fit and then resave it if you don't you just come right on down to the bottom and it's very simple it has questions and answers and under question we're going to click on it you only have three options right so we got multiple choice with one answer we have multiple choice with multiple answers and then we have short answers now I will caution you, you're going to want to make sure your short answer question is a question that can truly be answered precisely. You don't want a question that allows someone to write a book in the answer tab, right? Because most polls by default will have a time limit. So we'll go ahead and do one of each and show you what it looks like, how to do it. Let's start with the multiple choice single answer. If we click on that and then we click new, it will bring up a polling question box so we can say how do you like Webex meetings and then we can press enter and when you press enter it brings you to another box that is actually your first answer so we can put I like it enter I do not like it and press enter and then we can put let's say I do not know what I think there we go so let's press enter on that and that will give us our ABC options and participants will only be able to select one as an answer so now let's go down and create a question that is multiple choice multiple answers now real quick you can put as many answer options as you want um, but usually three is your common. Let's do multiple choice, multiple answer. We'll do one of those. So we'll do our question first, press enter, and it will bring us right to the answers for that. So then we can just populate a couple answers, and then we'll go down and we'll do a short answer and we'll click new after choosing that and then we'll just do an open answer and that would just leave an open box all right so now we have our three questions in there we can actually open the poll if for some reason we wanted to do this in an actual live meeting but like i said in the beginning of this meeting is it's much easier to do all this ahead of time and then we can actually come up here and if you hover over these buttons, they'll tell you what they are. So open, that's the existing save, and then we can actually edit. But let's go ahead and save it. It will open up an option for us to save. We can save it right as poll. Now it's going to, by default, do a .atp file. That's 
proprietary to Cisco WebEx. Can't do anything about it. It's forever and always going to be that way. And inside of WebEx meetings is, in fact, the only place that you can create, edit, and do any of the polling configuration. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. I'll save it as poll. You can change the name as you see fit. Now let's pretend we're in a live meeting and we're coming to the end of our meeting. This is typically where polling occurs or after a period of like instruction. So instruction on topic A, then you run a poll. Then another block of instruction on B, run a poll. Um, but when it's coming to the time for the poll, we can open up that polling. And then I always set a folder for my WebEx meeting polling and I'll label it something like polls. And then I'll always go back to that folder to open my polls. So I'll just click on the poll we created earlier. I'll hit open. And then there it is. Now at the bottom of our polling, we'll see the options tab. This is where that timer I was discussing is. You can display it to the group. That's always recommended. Let them know that there's a time for, you know, limit for them to answer these poll questions. And then it will actually display what that time limit is. It's not fair, in my opinion, to set a time limit and then not let them know by displaying it. So you can go ahead and set how long they have for polling. I personally like the default of five minutes, but you can adjust that as you see fit. And I do plan accordingly where I'm going to be done talking in five minutes uh, and then we're going to have questions. This is usually the time I prefer to open the poll, but I'll hit OK. And then it's going to give you the option to record individual responses. And then I can open the poll. It will tell me and give me a warning that people that are on a WebEx endpoint, a video endpoint, um, they obviously can't participate in the poll. So we'll hit OK. And it'll immediately start running it with active live results that you'll be able to see, as well as how many people have started it, how many people are currently taking it, and how many people have finished. We'll show you the time limit you set and then the remaining time. Uh, if you want to close it earlier prior to the five minutes, let's say everybody's done and you see that, you can close the poll. And then when you do close it, you have the option to share the results, the poll results, or you can actually share individual results. So this is cool. This is where ahead of time I want individual for myself. Um, but then afterwards I can share with the group what the group thought generally. So 20 of you, liked you know pizza and five wanted salad um every one of you liked webex meetings and you love this training so that's always cool to have that as an option but again you don't have to do it now once that's done we can go back in and edit the questions it will ask us right away do you want to save the results of this poll that you just ran so you can yes or no it all right so this is where i can come in and if we have an answer and we want to add to it, we just click in this box and then we can add an actual answer and it will go to by default, whichever one we click on. So if I click on number two and I hit add an answer, it'll allow me to do a different answer on top of what we already have. Then we can come in and now we can go back to save and it will save the poll with the addition of the new answer. So, if it's something that can be correct, something that can be right or wrong, shall we say, I can click on one and then I can actually mark it as correct. And then when you open your poll, it'll let them know what the correct answer is. So it's just an added option. Um, you can obviously go back in, click on it and uncheck the mark as correct. But um, now that we've added the finger food, we can go ahead and click on save. That'll lock that in there. And if we open the poll now, same thing will occur where you'll actually see the poll running. As participants are taking it, you'll see a results graph. The bar graph will grow. Uh, you'll get stats as you're running it. If we close the poll, we'll get a pop-up in the corner that says polling is ending. When it's done ending, we can come in and we can close the polling or we can just open a new one. So if we go to close it, and then we say, wait, I want to open a new polling. You can always just go right back through the actual meeting control doc, open polling. And there will be, like we said, the last poll that was there. 
um, you can always click new poll and that will refresh this. So even if you wanted to rerun the same poll that you just did, but you don't know how to get out of these, these results, you can always click new poll and it will say, do you want to save the poll results? In this case, I'll hit no. And then it will blank slate me. And then I can go ahead and hit open, choose another poll if I want, or the same one. And then I can get ready to run it again. So let's say you wanted to modify this now. If we click the edit, it just allows us to edit the different questions. So let's say we put finger food here and we want to get rid of it. We can hit the trash can and it will just simply delete it. If we wanted to change pizza, we could click the little edit pencil and then we could change what pizza was, make it another option and then just press enter, click anywhere outside of it and it'll show you your new poll. All right, so now let's say I wanted soup, steak, salad. We wanted to get rid of the pizza. Now I wanna save it. I can just go back over here and hit save because I'm within the same poll, it'll just automatically save for me. And then I can go ahead and close this. All right, now let's just say you've done your polling, you set them all up. I'll frequently set up polling for each type of WebEx training that I do. I'll set it in my special folder. And then while I'm in the meeting, I'll say, all right, guys, it's now time for questions. While we review or while we have open questions, if you could please pay attention to the poll in your window and answer that, I'd greatly appreciate it. You guys will have five minutes to do it. This is also another option where you can just set it to like 10 minutes and you say, all right, it's time for open question and answers. While we're doing this, guys, if you could please take the poll that will populate in your screen in one second, that'd be greatly appreciated. Just leave it that way. However you want to do it, you'll find your rhythm as you do it, I guess is the best way to describe that. So if there were participants in my meeting, I was getting to that point where I was ready for questions, or even at the last piece of my instructional content, um, I could just go in and hit more options, polling. It'll bring up my last one for me. If this is not the one I want, I can just go open up another one and then open polling. Now, no one can see you doing this if you're the host. So in this instructional, I'm doing this and talking. Whatever content I have or people we're seeing and talking, no one's seeing the polling until I actually open it. In this case, I've already opened it. So they'll get an actual polling format. They won't see the results and stuff. They'll just have the questions with the answers and they'll be able to take the poll. I, as the host and the creator of the poll, will actually get the live stats, so including the timer. So that will allow me to pace myself for the conclusion of the training as well. And then when the polling is done, it will give an option to save. Same as if we hit close, it will say the poll is ending. If we close now, it's going to go back to the meeting. Uh, if I wanted to save the poll results, I could go back into polling and they'll still be there. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is don't just close it but pretend like you're gonna open a new poll. That will make sure that you can save the poll results. So you can hit yes, poll results. The results are always in a text file. So then you don't need WebEx meetings to review the results. You can review them outside of the meeting. We can just hit save and then it will clean the polling window. Then we can close it and say, all right, that concludes this meeting. Thank you for joining, blase, blase. Now, sometimes with the free version of Cisco WebEx meetings, that setting to enable the polling panel will actually revert back. So if we end our meeting and then we go to start a new one, it may in fact, due to the free version, it may go ahead and revert back to default settings. So if we click on the more options button, the polling is gone. Uh, that's because I have the free version. So if you do have the free version, if you're planning on polling, go ahead and enable that. That will not affect the polls you've already created. It just means that while you're starting a meeting with polling or that you plan to use polling on, you'll want to go ahead and at the start of the meeting, just make sure that it's there and available for you. That about sums it up, guys. Please, if you enjoyed the content, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content in general, please consider subscribing. And I would love for you to leave a comment below. We'd love to know what other content you want to see, what other videos you'd like us to make, or any topics you're really interested in that you would like me to cover. Please leave a comment below.
And be sure to click one of the videos on the end screen. And that about does it for this one. We will see you in the next one. Thank you.